Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks, and I'm finishing up this uh, Marine Corps. And for the person I'm doing it for, I took the old, and I still don't know why they have all the engraving in red. Uh, it's like one and a half points, but I'm going to leave that alone. And so this should be uh, it leaks. As you can see, the only thing that doesn't leak is this section down here. So this is going to leak because, but these interior parts should not leak. Because I was a little bit confused. He does have a hairline that's not going to cut out so anything outside that. So we need to repair some things. So you need to find the broken nose. So if you get your shape tool, and click on your item and then just kind of go back and forth. You can almost see some double and triple nodes and and right there with the pick tool, I can see one, two, three, four, five, six square nodes that possibly need to be repaired. So let's look at those individually. And there's a leak right there. As you can see now without really changing the configuration of the drawing I've got my joined nodes together now there's two nodes we're going to delete one of them well we need to back up and see if that doesn't change something and it really didn't but we're going to leave it alone then get back to your pick tool and just kind of zoom in and out and there's another one right there I don't know if you can see that on my your monitor but there's like a little square node so those two aren't I'm going to change this one a little bit. I'm going to put it right on top of that. Then I'm going to select both, and I've got my join curves open, which is under Windows, Dockers, Join Curves. Then we'll go back out, hit the pick tool again, and kind of zoom in and out, and there's two more here and three there, and possibly one right there. So let's look at that one now. And you can just see it. It's, that's not a very good node so select them all and hit apply and see what it did it made it a good sharp corner and you kind of you know sometimes it might even be easier to draw circles around these Whoop. i don't know what i did there so there's one there's two underneath his wing and you can just see it those aren't good drawings but you still need to join them then we'll go over to the other side you can almost see the two triangular marks. And there it is right there. So we're going to take the shape tool and select them all. And it makes it actually a better cut. Now there's a few more. Now you could use the combine, but it's not always going to work. I don't like this right here. And I'll, you know, sometimes if you take the virtual segment delete key, it deletes this entire line. It's because this, this line is not far enough through the drawing. So if you put that, then take the virtual segment delete key and delete that line and delete that line. You still need to join these two nodes. Uh, I don't like this because it's going down to a point. It's not my drawing, but I'm going to change it up a little bit. I'm going to move that over. I'm going to, well, first of all, I'm going to join it. And then you could always move one or the other around. You just don't want that sharp point. Now, I think there's one or two more. So grabbing the pick tool and just kind of zooming in and out. There's one more right there. I hope you can see that in your monitor. And there it is right there. Now, these are overlapping nodes. Just kind of get it close. Select them both and hit apply. We'll get the pick tool one more time. The pick tool just kind of, there might be one more right there, but I'm, well, there's one right there. That one's not as evident. Whoop. But we're going to select them both and go ahead and join them. Now let's see if it doesn't work. I've got I've drawn a right rectangle around our work. So if it does leak, it won't leak outside the rectangle. And there we have it. It worked. Nothing leaks. Everything, everything that's in white is going to fall out. Everything in black is going to stay because it has another ring. And the person I'm doing this for, I'm going to send you the file. And then just 
we've used our nudge factor, so we're gonna nudge it back. I do not like this red. If you select them all, you can, it is a line, so I'm gonna hit black. That just, you just know it's an engravable line. And then we're gonna nudge those over, and this should be good to go. This is all engraved. All the red little dashes are going to be engraved. I don't know why that's not connected, but that could be very easily fixed. I would just connect those two. And engraving, it doesn't really matter, but I'm going to go ahead and join them. Gives a little bit of an outline to that anchor. Here, this is totally, totally different than that one. But I didn't draw it. And uh, it's got some weird things going on here. And, a little bit of dashes. And also, if you look at these two colors, this one is CMYK and this one is RGB. So I would change it to all black. And you could do that with all one swift mark. Look. So we still got these red dashes. I guess it's imp uh, doing the rope. So we'll do our smart field test one more time. And this is what's going to, that's what it's going to be looking like. That's going to, the black is going to stay and the white is going to fall out because of the fact that this hairline, let's back up here, this hairline is going to be a vector line, but it's not going to be engraved the whole way. You know, save you some time. So that's how you find leaks a different way. I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.